Why did you want to make a more straightforward album? Why? I don't know. I think sometimes you react to what you've previously done. Mm. Um, you know, the, the last record was, uh, you know, synthesizer heavy and um, had lots of little things bubbling away and coming in and out. And uh, this time we just wanted, wanted to feel like the band playing in a, in a room and being, being straight up, you know? Because, you know, that, that was kind of the whole process of this album, really. It felt like the, what happened between the split with Chris. You know, yeah. Like, it felt like the songs were like, you know, the songs were leading us to that direction as well. The songs I were writing felt like, you know, a bit, a bit more simple, you know, uh, and, and a bit more... Um, and I think maybe part of the reason that they, we didn't get to a point with Chris that any of us were happy is because with Chris they'd always kind of, you know, get clouded in, you know, kind of more kind of abstract ideas and they'd get covered up and we just always felt that the songs were being lost with his way of approaching them. And, we, you know, and that was, yeah. I don't know why the songs that I was writing started to feel more... I don't, I don't know what the word is, but, you, you know. But do you feel more matured, maybe? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you say like a mature record, that might scare people because you're like, oh, it's got, it's old and boring, you know, or something. I don't know, yeah. but it, it's <laughs> like, it, it definitely isn't. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's a pretty exciting record. But we, we are, you know, I think we've, we are we've, old and boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we've definitely grown up in the last like couple of years a little bit more. Yeah, we're all in our thirties. You know, like yeah. three of us have got kids, yeah. and you know, Justin's. A bit older than we are as well. It's like yeah. there's a certain. It's not like we're old, but you see the new bands and you go, I don't feel connected to you anymore. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah. I'm not what you are anymore, and that's fine. Whether, whether, whether or not I ever was, or we ever were, maybe we weren't. Maybe we always Little were a punks. bit. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, and, and the bands that we admire and, and respect, um, even the ones that are, you know, your elbows or National or Biffy Clary, they're ba bands that are like. You know, they're on their like fifth or sixth record. They, you know, they're building up a body of work. Yeah. They have longevity, and 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 yeah, they make different types of records. And um, but we respect that that they're you know still doing it, still writing good songs. And, and that's we've always tried to emulate that. So yeah. uh, the album is called "The Weight of of Your Love." Yeah. Um, there's some sort of reference uh, in the first song. It's called "The Weight." Mm -hmm. um, was this? Well, did you call the album after this first song, or is it just...? Yeah, I mean, to, 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 yeah, I mean that song was actually, it was originally called The Weight of Your Love, that song. But uh, we kind of didn't feel like the album really wanted a title track, to, okay. to, uh, as, as you know. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, the record, uh, pretty much all the songs on the record deal with uh, my attempts at writing love songs of a type. Some of them are fairly straightforward, some of them are less so, some of them are kind of breakup songs, and yeah. some of them are a little bit mm. twisted in, in the imagery or the delivery, and, but they're still me trying to write kind of pretty straightforward love songs. And, why? Uh, why? Why? I just feel more comfortable, I don't know, I just, you know, I, we've always tried to do something that we feel like we've not done before. Yeah. You know, whenever we feel like we're rehashing old ground, we get uncomfortable. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, that, that stems to the lyrics as well. I've, I've, it's a topic that I would I've always run away from when I was younger. <laughs> uh, on the first three records, you know, it's something that is, would have been intimidating and something I wouldn't have been comfortable at trying to approach. And I don't why, like, yeah, maybe it's you know a few a few, a few more years under the uh, you know under the engine. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, just felt like the right thing to do. Felt exciting. I was getting. I was you know I was in. I was inspired in, in, in creating these kind of images and yeah. writing about the topic in a way that was, I thought was interesting. How long are you in a relationship now? Has that something, something to do with it too, maybe? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it's, it's not... I'm trying, I'm trying to work out what year is it? 2013. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like eight years, something like that. So. Maybe because you've grown in, in, in that love relationship, can it be also too that you now feel Comfortable, you feel trying that. to describe it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, some of the, you know, yeah, possibly, you know, you know, there's a certain solidity, or yeah, you know, yeah, possibly. I mean, my mind wanders as well. You know, they're not all directly related to me. You know, there's breakup songs on the record or two. You know, they're a type of love song, but they're still breakup songs. Love. They're not. They're not related specifically to me at the moment, at least. Um, 
I think you, 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 your mind should wander as a writer, just to, but it comes from, comes from you anyway, so. Yeah. Um, what was the first song that you thought, well now, hey, this is something that I, that, well, that you succeeded in writing? For editors, just yeah, to, yeah, on, on this record? Yeah, what was the starting point for you lyric-wise, you say, well, this is... Uh, it, it didn't, it, it was like, it, it happened without really consciously de okay. deciding, like, I, I, I think I was got, I got like a four, four or five songs in, and I realised every song had love in the title. <laughs> and I changed that. I didn't want them all to have love and tell, really. But, uh, but yeah, it wasn't a conscious decision. I was like, okay, this is this is what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> it's leading me this way. What do you think? Or does it when you when you read the lyrics? Um, did you did you talk to him about it or? Uh, no, not really. I mean, obviously, when we get sent the demos and the, they do have the, the love titles in, you know, get that, <laughs> you mm. know. Um, but yeah, I just. It's a, it's a topic that has been sung about many times, like the history of song, and uh, you know I th don't think it's any different from us, and we we put a good stroke on it. You know? Yeah. And um, yeah, so, uh, you know, very proud of the record. Um, I thought m maybe I'm wrong, but I thought maybe there were certain songs, lyrics about Chris too, Chris leaving. Again, that's in hindsight. I mean, some of that. I mean. The I wrote like what's this thing called love, which is a breakup song, and um, that would be the obvious one. Uh, but that was written when Chris was still in the band. So no, I um, thought maybe um, a ton of love. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, I lit a match in F Vienna tonight. It caused a fire in New York. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> something happened within the band. I don't know because well, t yeah. two of you live in New York, and maybe. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, I, I hadn't thought. I mean, that was that was written after Chris Chris left. Um, not purposely so. No, I, I wouldn't. That, I felt like those kind of that, that song is kind of trying to kind of capture that excitement when two people meet and that kind of youthful kind of explosion of you know feelings or passion and yeah. that feeling that suddenly that anything else around you is irrelevant. You know, the, you know, be it you know. The world outside the window is no longer important when you're in that kind of moment. So yeah. I didn't really feel I was writing about Chris. Another one. <laughs> Honesty. Um, <laughs> is it? I was thinking maybe this one was also about well the situation that the band was in. Honesty that you needed honesty to. It could be. I mean that song's like sometimes uh, in a relationship with like two people, you know, being being honest with each other over and over again can lead to. Complications, you know. Sometimes you, you can be too, you know. It, it, it can make things go weird if you're too open with people. Sometimes it's best not to, to tell somebody the truth, I guess. And that happens in a relationship when you, I think, when you're, com you know, completely open with each other, and, and and there are moments when it just goes a bit, bit weird. Yeah. Uh, and um, that's what honesty's at, I think, about. So. Last question. There's one thing that Ed said uh, in the in the bio. Um, that he he said, well, recording this album, I felt fully fledged, uh, contributing member of the band. Mm. Did you know this? I felt that as well. No, I felt that for Ed. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. But did, but did you know that it wasn't uh, on previous albums? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, these parts, you know, they're, it's just Ed playing and doing what he wants to do, uh, rather than. You know, a lot of the time Chris would be saying, "No, do this, do this." You know, Paul no, McCartney. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can. You know, he's sitting back a lot more on the drums and letting them breathe a lot more. It's, it's less tight. There's less sixteenths. I don't think there's any really. So uh, it's just him playing his drums, and and also not just that, but you know, having a, a real contribution in, like the riffs. You know how a how a how a melody should go. Yeah. You know, and that that never happened before. So, you know, yeah. that that was uh, it's a great thing. So, and he also he also changed, being more I don't know happy. Yeah, him, absolutely. Right? Yeah, he was full of enthusiasm, and uh, you know, uh, I think it was the first time that when we've been working with the producer, they've they've really kind of like latched on and been like the direct talking point. To yeah, him. and actually wanted to know Ed's opinion. And yeah, like really, you know, he'd, you know, Jakey would ask Ed for a conference quite often. So, uh, you know, 
<laughs> that was that was good. It was, it was it was good for him to have some different roles, you know, and it was yeah, good experience. Thank you for your time. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Nice one. <laughs>